what's going on guys your boy turbo reacts here and i'm just i'm doing this video just to give you guys an update what's going on and why i didn't get a um no reaction videos for the past couple of days i've been sick okay um i was very sick over the weekend and i still tried to record some videos um i'm still recording videos but it's like it's just too much for me to stay up and edit because it's like i can sit and watch but it's like you know when i get to the editing now you know it's a little you know what i'm saying it's a little bit more work um than just sitting and watching something you know what i mean so it's a bit it's a bit too much at this point i feel really really bad my chest hurts um you know i'm just, just having a bad case of the flu so um hopefully i can get some videos out to you guys um tomorrow or wednesday but i just wanted you guys to know that you know i haven't man you guys are champs though man because i see that you guys are still like active on the channel and you're still watching the videos which i really really do appreciate that you guys are doing that um got a um about 10 new subscribers today i think um so that's pretty awesome so you see i want you i want to stay as active as possible with you guys but you know ain't nothing you can do you know if if you're not feeling well you know what i'm saying there's nothing wrong with taking a couple of days off um so thank you guys for staying active on the channel man because when you guys stay active on the channel um you know youtube will still put my videos out there in the suggested columns and stuff like that you know what i'm saying extra likes extra comments all of that stuff you know the you know the interaction on the channel helps the channel to grow helps the channel to get in front of other people and in turn um convert into new subscribers so i'm i'm thanking you guys um as you can see i, I the thing about it too like like i'm mustering up some strength some strength some strength right now to to actually even do this small video because my voice is like you know it's not normal you know because my throat is like it, it it hurts it doesn't hurt when i talk i mean earlier today i couldn't really like my voice was gone so i'm surprised that for all day today i wanted to make this video but it's like you know my voice so i had to you know drink some get some honey some 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 lime and some stuff you know do some stuff in, in, in and kind of make my throat feel a lot better and now i can talk i have a runny nose i i hate being sick guys i i hate it and the thing about it is is that i know exactly who i caught it from so it's like you know when you tell somebody to stay away from you when they when they have uh, you know a common cold or the flu and they don't listen to you is like you're like come on man you know what i mean you know they're all over you and, and and stuff like that i mean it's a girl you know what i'm saying she, you know yeah. <sighs> you know it's like they want you to be sick too you know what i mean uh, sometimes you're taking care of somebody and catch what they got you know now they have to take care of you and the cycle continues but you know thank you guys for staying with me man i really appreciate it i was trying to do this on a live stream but um um you guys were taking too long to come in i would i don't even know if the couple of people that was in there was hearing me but um yeah <laughs> so i was trying to do it on a live stream but that didn't go very well but i thank you guys for the couple of guys that was in there with me i really appreciate it uh but yeah man definitely i'm gonna try to get the second episode of code gias out tonight okay guys um i do want to go over some stuff with you guys give you guys a couple of shout outs before i leave here tonight just so you guys have something you know i just want to show my appreciation a bit here before I leave, let's go to the comment section real quick. Um, there's some stuff I want I, I wanted to address also. As you guys don't understand, man, like everything that you guys suggest, as you can see here, I have all of them. 
I have them ready to go, ready to react to. I have them saved, you know, so as you guys can see. So, um, shout out to Hun Horwell here. You left a really good comment um, today. Some of these, I haven't even checked them yet. You know, these are all that came in today. Um, so, shout out to that guy. He was telling me that Black Mirror is a great series. Um, I agree, definitely. Uh, let me open up this right here. Um, what I do is when you guys send the links, I put them in a new tab and then I bookmark them so that I remember to react to them. Okay. So <laughs> just found you just going to watch a bunch of your tributes. Now, however, you've missed out on a few amazing ones. So please, could you react to Arya Stark? Tell them North remember his best Arya one out and video and editing is amazing. Okay. I'll definitely do that. Any more of Arya is pretty cool. Let's see what else he suggested here. Jon Snow the Prince. I'm down for tribute videos all the time, man. You won't regret it. Okay. No problem, man. Thanks for the suggestions there. Uh, CJ Miles. Um, got Roger Kingfield here in the books. There are plenty of knights hunting Sansa, hoping to win Queen Cersei's favor by bringing her back to King's Landing. And if you watch Preston Jacob's video on the first Sansa Lane sample chapter from the Winds of Winter, he knows that they are a number of characters who seems to suspect her true identity. The point I'm trying to make is that I predict that one of those knights is going to ab abduct her and take her to King's Landing. But by the time they get there, Aegon will be in charge. Varys and Illyrio's plan is for him to marry Daenerys, but he is young and Sansa is very beautiful, so I see the two of them hooking up. Oh, really? So that's that Aegon, the Aegon that Varys is raising, right? Of course, Maester Stara will probably try to marry off Marjorie to him, but I don't think that's going to be a problem because my prediction for her is that she's going to be sentenced to death by the Fae. She's likely innocent of the charges levied against her, but that doesn't mean that she's innocent. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know much about the books, guys, but I'm soon going to start reading them. Where is the bathroom? Oh, he's asking. <laughs> that bathroom seat was hilarious, but I left it out. It was just, it's just too much dick grabbing in that anime, man. <laughs> This is way too much dick grabbing. That's why I got I gotta cut them out. It's it's not a gay anime by any by 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 any means. It's just this is way too much dick grabbing. Nobody grabs nobody's dick in in, in, in um in the bathroom. Nobody does that. So that's just that, that that's just a theme in the anime, a part of it, you know, just to be funny and stuff. I don't know, maybe that's what they be doing in Japan. I don't know about all that. It's not fun to grab another guy's dick dick you're not if you're not you know um gay so i've never watched okay so okay okay jds third i never watched anime so thank you for introducing me to something new and different it's interesting to say the least here's another got video for your concert it's a big and i thank you and your fans it's one of the biggest questions yes um we can't wait for a review i hope you do it soon Okay, so what do the White Walkers want? Okay, yes, I definitely want that. So, that out there. I I am fine with doing <coughs> anime. And if you guys have never watched anime, I encourage you guys to check them out. It's, it's, it's nothing over the top. Anime is different from cartoons. And as a lot of people think that anime is just cartoons. It's really not. Some of them is very cartoonish. But you got to understand that this is like, it takes it it takes a lot to create these animations it's not like it's not your family family guy or you know what i'm saying your Amer american dad or your rick morty or stuff like that you know what i'm saying where it's just in just about being funny you know what i'm saying these animes they get serious they get serious they bring all the all the um the emotions you know what i'm saying into play it's not just about being funny there's funny aspect there's comedy aspect to it but for the most part, you know, most of the time, you know what I'm saying? It's all inclusive. Every, you feel every single emotion. I remember when somebody introduced me to Naruto. I mean, I watched the, the first episode of Naruto. 
I, it wasn't even the first episode that got me into Naruto. I just started to watch it because somebody showed me that Naruto versus Gara fight. That fight when when he uh, when he trans when he when he summoned Gamabunta and I mean and then he 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 he, uh, he transformed into the Nine Tails Fox. That's the first episode of Naruto that I ever watched, and then I was like, yo. I have to watch this anime from from the get go. So that's how I got into Naruto, and I started watching Naruto from the first episode up until you know what I'm saying until the end. Never stopped watching it. When I got caught up on the episodes, when I got caught up on the episodes of where it was, I started reading the manga because it was that good. You know what I'm saying? And the emotions in Naruto, man. I mean. Come on, guys. If if you've never cried watching Naruto, if you guys have watched it, I mean, you're a tough son of a bitch. I, I, I can't even lie about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, there's a lot of times I watch Naruto, man. Even now when I re-watch some of the episodes, when I watch people react to Naruto, the scenes still get to me because it's it's that. Because in, in my even in my personal life, like I relate to the character Naruto a lot about you know working hard knowing that you know what i'm saying so many people so many haters you know what i'm saying has has looked at me and be like oh he's no good and you know what i'm saying you, you kind of feel like nobody likes you in this world you know what i'm saying and that's why that's why i love the interaction on this channel so much it's not even about validation it's about um people just understanding genuinely who you are you know what I'm saying? Even though they're so far away from you, people just understanding that you're this type of person. I'm I'm literally this person in real life. You're not going to meet a more genuine person. I promise you that. Like I'm super genuine about everything that I do because I'm so afraid. Um, well, not really fearful, but I don't um, I get hurt a lot in the past, I've been hurt a lot in the past, I've been through so much in my past, um, I don't want to get into all of that, but it's been so much, you know what I'm saying, so I just want you guys to enjoy this journey with me, so yeah man, so if you've never watched anime, man, I'm telling you, there's a lot of life lessons in anime, it's not just a cartoon, it's like, just like how you watch a TV show, it can bring you through a lot of emotions when it comes to anime, trust me. Um, not the, not necessarily the one I'm watching now. I'm just giving you guys some examples. Naruto being one of the biggest, um, you know, that really, really shows you like a lot of people, you know, they talk about and they talk about anime, but they don't talk about the emotional aspect of it. There's a lot of people that they review anime and they never talk about the emotional aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? So, but I love people who do. There are people who do, you know, but most of them does you know, with the, the, the power scaling, and uh, there's so much aspects to anime, man, it's just, it's just awesome, but yeah, this guy, I think he just subscribed, Miko Garian, he's watching the animes on the channel, just getting caught up, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a really funny show, Ippo, and I tend to leave the funny parts in, okay, so here's David again, this theory suggests that Tyrion was conceived on Tywin and Joanna's wedding night, so Tyrion would have been Joanna's first child. And her last one? Since she died while I was giving birth to him. But Joanna was also the mother of Sister Jerry, so that doesn't make sense. And considering, I didn't even think of that. To be honest, I did not think about this. You are right. The theory suggests that Tyrion was conceived on the wedding night. So it really doesn't make sense. <laughs> you see me jumping? Oh my god. My spotlight, my light fell. All right, let me fix this real quick. Knock my camera down. Let me
<laughs> I'd be doing that every time. Every time that happens to me, every time that happens, like I always, jo- <laughs> I always get so like scared when that happens. I, I know you guys are gonna have a good laugh at that. <laughs> But anyway, let's continue here. Yeah, I never actually thought about that um, before, you know, never really thought about that. But that's pretty awesome, though. Um, Yes. Keep watching. Sub. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. Lelouch. (laughs) You got the name of the character. I got a lot of good videos. Okay. Bridge four. Okay. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hodor knew her voice since he was a boy. You are right about that. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is one of the things. Like, this guy was just trashing on the, the anime. And I'm like, dude, I just started watching the anime. Let me listen. There's a lot of animes out there that they start out pretty good. You know, they start out pretty good and then they're just absolute trash. You know what I mean? Like they start out pretty good and then they're like absolute trash. Right? So I don't mind if an anime goes in that direction. But let me find out for myself. You know what I'm saying? Let me find out for myself. Um and let me judge for myself. I know that there are animes that like me personally, um, I think that they could have done a better job wrap, wrapping up Naruto. I think it was rushed. Um, but at the same time, you know, at the same time, it was great. It was a great anime. You know, I think it was rushed. I think it was they, at the end of the anime, you could find so many plot holes, so many things that was left to explain. And that goes for a lot of shows, you know, so... You know, it's, it's just starting to see another channel go from a niche classic like Ippo to a soulless pandering crap <laughs> like Code Geass. The story starts out ambitious, so it pretends to be a great story. By the time the reactor realizes pure trash, and my people will only fantasize about life. Yeah. I'm just saying, let me, I just want to experience it for myself. You know what I'm saying? Let me judge that for myself. Um, Jay's third replied to him. However, I've watched his previous reaction to other shows as well. I understand you like <laughs> Yeah. So why the fact uh he is covered. Right, that's what I'm saying. Even the he's the threatening reactor who has done such a fantastic job of show he has covered. He takes a lot of time, energy, and effort to put out interesting commentary and shows that folks have watched and are interested in. So far I have given every show a chance. So far I have been entertained, impressed with him. Honest, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Like if you don't have something positive to say just don't say it there's no reason for anybody to come on this channel you know what i'm saying and and just you just say something and then you're just gone (laughs) you know what i'm saying like i get it you don't like the anime i totally get it you know what i mean there's nothing wrong with not liking something you know what i mean you know it's not your cup of tea i get it You see what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like Kojiyas, but see, I still show them love because that's the thing. Like, there's nothing wrong. <sighs> but but that's what I'm saying, man. You didn't, you know. I I just want people to understand, you know, uh, just to get a, a certain point of view. So I know that there are people here that you know, come to the channel to see what I'm going to react to next. And all that stuff is coming up, so stay tuned. Um, You know, all of that stuff that I'm planning to react, that I've started, I'm going to continue this week. It's just that I'm trying to really get over just the weakness of this flu. Like, you guys know how much, you know, the flu makes you feel really, like, weak. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it pulls your strength from you. You know what I'm saying? It drains you. You know what I'm saying? So you feel like you want to curl up in bed. You feel like you want to go outside. You just, you, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what to do with yourself. So you just kind of like just rest. You know what I'm saying? Even though I didn't rest, really. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, but thank you guys, man. As I said, big thank you. Big shout out to y'all. 
um, and even though I planned on this video being just a couple of minutes ends up being 20 plus minutes so thank you guys for tuning in man hope you guys um stay tuned for the rest of the stuff on the channel i really really appreciate you guys and shout out to jay um what's his name jp uh i like people who come on here and they you know do stuff like this because you know sometimes i can't really answer all of these comments you know what I'm saying? Like, I like how she, because this is what I'm trying, this is what I've been trying to say to people. Like, there's nothing wrong with you disliking something that I do. But, listen, I love, I like people who shows that they're intelligent. Intelligence and intellect, okay? If you don't have something to say or have a constructive thing to, to say about something, don't just say you hate something. Tell me why you hate it. If I don't like something, I'm going to tell you exactly why I don't like that thing. You know what I mean? So, I want you guys to do the same thing. If you come on this channel, if you don't feel like saying anything, or you feel like just saying what you have to say, and just leave, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just weird to me that people do stuff like that. It, it just kind of makes you seem like you, you can't express yourself properly. You know what I'm saying? And you don't really want a conversation, you know, you just want to say what you have to say and expect me to just swallow it and move on or just, I'm going to stop watching Kojias just because you say, oh, it's cancer or whatever the situation is, you know what I'm saying? Now, what's your opinion? Like, I should jump on it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the con condescending comments, you know, telling me good luck and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... My channel is not going to die because I'm watching Code Geass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the people who suggested it to me, like, I'm not over here trying to get thousands of views. I'm just doing it because my subscribers suggested it to me and I'm checking it out. That's all it is. Like, Code Geass would probably not even come on my radar if it wasn't for a reactor. So that's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? So that's all I want. I really want you guys to understand that on this channel, if you come here and you suggest something, you know what I mean? Like what I would tell um these people to do if they end up watching this video, if they end up watching this video, Mr. Jimmy Illust Illustrious, if you have not unsubscribed to the channel yet, suggest the anime that you think would be good. That's what I would want you to do. And Nesne and bob bobbers okay suggest the anime that you think is really really good because i'm looking for animes to watch that i've never seen right um i will put a list up on twitter or something of the ones that i have seen so you know you don't have to suggest those because i know there's tons of animes out there there's a lot of anime that I, that I have watched, and I will let you know if I've watched it. So if you guys, and that's what I'm saying, be constructive about it. Say it's better if you watch this one or something like that. But don't just come out here and just put hateful comments on something you don't like and think my channel and telling me good luck, you know what I'm saying, in, in a really condescending way, you know what I'm saying. You know, make a suggestion. Or something don't just leave it at that um, I know that maybe the maybe it goes downhill just like Game of Thrones Game of Thrones didn't stay at a 10 out of 10 show for seven seasons it it kind of did went downhill especially you know what I'm saying S season 7 was basically just spectacle they're wrapping up the series so guess what the time skips us just out of control. You know what I'm saying? It's like one minute they're here, the next minute they're like thousands of miles away. You know what I'm saying? So it's, but it's understandable because we know that they're wrapping it up. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, and it was more fan service than anything else, you know, but it was still enjoyable. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I love you guys, man, but I have to go. <laughs> you know, I wish I could stay here and talk for another 30 minutes, but. Hopefully you guys um, understand my situation um, comprehensively and just understand that there's no hate here, man. There's no hate. I love 
every comment that you guys made. There's nothing wrong with you expressing yourself. I just want you to ex just please express yourself and not come off as a hater. You know what I'm saying? If you, you understand what I'm saying, like, I understand that you don't like the anime. Um, if you've watched it and stopped watching it or it disappointed you, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you're not going to like everything. Nobody's going to like everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't like everything. And if I don't like something, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to know. I'm gonna, and I'm going to tell you exactly why I don't like it. There's a lot of theories I have about Naruto that a lot of people don't that disagree with. I did a video on this very channel about what I think about a certain thing. And everybody came at me. But guess what? They came at me with solid arguments. You know, some people were, were very rude, you know, which I didn't appreciate. And I addressed it, you know, but at the same time, you know, most people, they came at me constructively. You know what I'm saying? Because I addressed it. I said, if you're going to make comments. You know, don't be rude. Don't call me an idiot and stuff like that, because I have a different theory than you that you disagree with. You know, it's just my opinion on the whole thing. You know, it's just my opinion. It's what I've watched. Don't say I don't know anything. It's the whole basis of sh of watching shows is for people to have different opinions about certain things. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not about it's it's a debate. I love those. So I will talk to you guys later, man. Hopefully you, I can get that Code Geass episode up tonight. Um, Hopefully I, I can. I'm going to try to edit it. I'm going to try to get it out. This will definitely be up on the channel. So hope you guys watch it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love y'all, man. Thanks, guys. Um, See you tomorrow. Um, Definitely. I'm going to try to have the Peaky Blinders um, second episode, um, Black Mirror second episode. I'm going to try to have all of those out by Wednesday. I don't think I'm going to st I'm still trying to figure out The Walking Dead. But for now, what I'm probably going to do with The Walking Dead is I'm going to upload it to the Google Drive. And you guys can watch my reaction there for now until I figure out how to get it on YouTube. Because it's just being blocked in certain countries. So... Thank you guys for watching once again. You already know. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And peace.